Carol Lane. Good afternoon, good evening. Um, welcome to my tutorial channel. Once again, I would like to say a very big thank you for being part of this um, community. All right, the growth of this community cannot be talked about without you being mentioned. You've you've been been a part of this uh, great um, community, and I want to thank you for it. And um, I'm also glad that you've been learning a whole lot from this um, channel. So today we are going to go straight to the tutorial we have for today: recycle operation. Okay. Um, over the years. I've discovered that we're one of the one of the um, operations or models that most students are, or most um, professionals find difficult uh, in handling in the oil and gas industry is the recycle operation when it comes to modeling it with Aspen Isis. So that is more reason why I'm doing this video today. Okay, so if you've not subscribed to this channel, please do well to hit the subscribe button and. Um, also go through the previous videos so that you can really understand fully what we are doing okay all right um, i will be going straight into how to add your component list or free package you've done that in the past so if you've not um, gone through those video tutorials please do well to go through them again they are on this channel and then um, also we've handled how to model a separator um, an absorber um, also model um, model installation column heat exchanger valves and other operations i'll be bringing in apart from recycle operations so you can go back and, and go through it so that you really understand how to um, model those ones so now this has been modeled already this is a tape dehydration unit okay just a mini tape dehydration unit so we have um, um, a gas stream we have our wet, uh, wet gas so this wet gas has the, the, the vapor phase fraction is 0 0.9108 alright and what we want to pass to the absorber is dry gas uh, okay not like dry gas per se but um, gas with let, let me call it bone dry gas actually okay but it still has some some um, liquid fraction or liquid flow flow rate of, of water so we are going to use tape to remove the remaining water from the gas stream okay all right so we have um, the process parameter for the tag uh, 50 degrees celsius pressure is 6200 pascal and then um, the flow rate is 300 um that's 300 kilogram mole per hour okay also let's check the composition the composition is um let's go at uh, mass fraction please just just follow keenly it's it's very simple it's very easy okay so um the mass fraction for tag is 0 0.99 and that of water is 0, 0.0 making it one okay so um the, the more fraction is this okay now for those who are not familiar with this process what we are doing we're trying to use tag okay to remove water from the gas stream all right this is an absorption process so we have a dry gas that is void of water or has a um, little fraction of water and um, the, S the reason for this is to, um, to to avoid corrosion along the pipeline by transporting this dry gas or to meet customer specification as the case may be all right so we have this um, rich tag that is the bottom so here we have tag coming out but this tag is not actually coming out from the bottom of the absorber alone rather it's coming out with um some methane gas ethane and some water vapor okay oh, sorry. so what we'll do is this we have to pass it through a valve drop the pressure flat vaporization okay through this valve and then um, pass it through a heat exchanger down to a regenerator so to model our regenerator we'll be, we'll be using the distillation column we've already handled how to run that so the regen bottom is what we'll be recycling so after modeling the regenerator we'll have the vents okay so the vent contains water and the light hydrocarbon so this is purely water and and tech 
Okay, so we'll go to composition and we'll see what we have here. Okay, 0 0.99, 0 0.07, so that's a more fraction. All right. Now, at the end of the day, this is what we have that we want to recycle. This is the stream we want to recycle. Now, you have to make sure that the parameters of the stream you're recycling is the same the same with the initial parameter of um, the original stream. This is our original stream. So what we have here is 50 degrees Celsius, 6,200 kilopascal, 300 kilogram per hour flow rate. And uh, remember what we have uh, for the composition in more flow is um, 0 0.992 for tech, nine, sorry, 0 0.9223 for tech and there's 0 0.0777. So, we have to prepare this stream to meet exactly this condition okay so that's exactly what we want to do now looking at this stream the temperature of this stream is 224.4 degrees celsius which is higher than 50 degrees celsius the pressure is 33 kilopascal and the flow rate is um 278.3 now you discover that the flow rate is lower than the original flow rate of the main text stream all right so that is one thing so one of the things we have to do is to add makeup tag all right and before we do that let's check the composition of this stream so the composition of this stream is um, for tag is 0 0.9928 and then water is 0 0.0072 which is lower than what we have all right this is lower than what we have so we're going to go straight to Please pardon me, um, the noise that the background kids around, and um, but I hope you can hear me clearly. Please just try and uh, okay, follow. Up. Uh, okay, so we've seen the um, the parameters of the stream, so we want to prepare it. The first thing we do is to add makeup tech. Since the flow rate of this stream is not equal to the flow rate of this stream, so we are going to add um, makeup tech. So, what I will do is I will bring in a stream. Okay, uh, call this. So this is the stream that we're going to pull up. All right, so pull up. All right. Uh, so uh, add another stream. This is a. Um, this is our makeup tag. Makeup tag. Right. Okay, so before then, we need to pump this stream. Remember, we we'll have a 6,200. So I'll be pumping this stream to 6,250 kilopascal. 50 kilopascal higher than the original because along the line, we're going to have some pressure drops. Okay, especially around the cooler. We're going to have a pressure, so we'll put that into consideration. So what I have to do now is to bring the pump. You already know how to simulate the pump, so that won't be a problem. Okay, please just follow. Um, okay, so what we have here is the inlet to be to pump, to pump, outlet to be to mixer. Uh, we're pumping it to 6250 kilopascal so the pump is okay but we need to add the heat okay that's the beauty of the pump so pump is soft all right so we'll get a mixer to mix the makeup tank we have a mixer to mix the makeup tank Okay, so now we add to mixer and we also add makeup tag. So we'll call this to cooler. Now you discover that the mixer is not soft. Reason being that only one stream is soft. I remember when we handled the um, mixer modeling, I told you that two of the streams have to be soft. So now we have to solve 
progress all right so let's get the makeup all right so we are going to be doing some assumptions here so for this let's say this is 50 degrees celsius 50 degrees celsius let's say this is a uh, okay now we'll leave the pressure out of it and then we'll go to composition we're going to assume composition okay we'll assume the composition to be so go to mass fraction all right remember the mass fraction we had was 0 0.99 so we start with 0 0.99 0 0.99 and um, 0. 0 0.01 okay all right that is one so that has been taken care of all right so the only thing we have not imputed in the condition is the pressure on the flow rate all right so we know that the flow rate that is required here is 300 right so we come over to the um to cooler stream more flow rate at 300 here all right then go over to the mixer and equalize the pressure once you do that the mixer will be solved all right so this is okay so for now we have uh the temperature is 214 degrees celsius the pressure is 6250 kilopascal and the molar flow rate is 300 but so we have uh one of the conditions the flow rate is the same as the flow rate of the original stream the pressure is not exactly the same so work on that the temperature is not exactly the same so we have to get a cooler so the cooler will take care of that so we get a single cooler all right we get a single cooler i've already taught us how to handle or how to model a cooler so you can go back to the tutorial all right so here we have to recycle so rcy all right so we'll call this cq you can give it any name you want all right so parameter 50 so this 50 kilopascal that's a pressure drop across the cooler will take care of um the excess pressure in the inlet stream so the temperature remember the temperature we are looking at for is what 50 degrees celsius so the stream coming out from the cooler let's compare the stream coming out from the cooler so this stream we have 50 degrees celsius we have 6200 kilopascal and we have 300 kilogram per hour but that's not enough remember i said the pressure the temperature and the flow rate including the composition must be the same with the that of the original stream which is a text stream if they are not the same the process will not converge so you have to make sure everything is the same okay so now let's look at this first of all let's let's check this again so let's check for the mole fraction of this text stream again so the mole fraction here is 0 0.9223 and 0 0.0777 okay now let's check what we have here what we have here is um, 0 0.9877 and 0 0.0123 which is not the same with what we have there if we try and impute the recycle operation and try to um, connect the stream believe me this whole thing we just um it won't solve it won't converge so uh, we have to be careful with that. So what we have to do is to come back to this makeup tag because the composition of this makeup tag we definitely have effect on this particular stream. So we'll come back to this makeup tag and go straight to uh, our imputed composition. Okay, what we did earlier was um, the mass fraction. So we can keep working on this. Okay, we keep changing the um, the mole fraction to make sure you get what you want to get. All right i won't have to waste your time so i'll just start with this uh let's see uh eight three so this should be zero point one seven right okay let's see let's see let's see let's see okay so i'll come back here and then go back to the composition we are almost done it is that simple so we'll go back to the composition uh this looks like what we have right this is 0 0.0773 but we we'll have is 777 if i'm not mistaken so let's see uh we'll check check that again 
777 so we don't have exactly what we wanted to get so what we need to do we keep adjusting this till we get the exact value so you can change this to 0 0.87 um, or change this to 0. 0. Um, that'll be 0 0.13 missed here yeah. okay so let's see so this should give us the value we are looking for should give us the value we are looking for okay all right so i think we need to work on this again it has to be the same please take note it has to be the same it has to be the same so now i have to reduce this to 86 let's see and then this 0 0.14 0 0.14 uh, okay uh, so let's see rates this should be what we're looking for so we are here okay so this is the value we are looking for so now the mole fraction is exactly the same with that of the um, original string uh, the the temperature is the same the pressure is the same the molar flow rate is the same and if you check the enthalpy the molar enthalpy you discover and the entropy too you discover that they will definitely be the same if there is no balance in the energy of the stream then the rest are sure that the process will not converge okay if you check we we'll have exactly the same thing here okay so we are good to go all i need to do now is to get the recycle operation recycle operation is just an iterative operation all right it's just an iterative operation that uh, helps you converge your recycle stream when modeling with aspirin heises in reality there is no unit operation known as recycle operation but in aspirin heises it helps you to converge um your recycle stream okay but in the dynamic mode you won't need that at the when you get to that you can easily connect it right directly but for the steady state operation you will need this first before you can um, remove it and take it back to dynamic mode then run your stream okay so what i need to do now is double click on this you have your inlet so the inlet becomes what to recycle and the outlet becomes what tech so that's it so the whole thing is solved our stream has been properly recycled if you don't follow this process you might have issues recycling um, your stream so like i said make sure that the um, temperature pressure um, temperature pressure flow rate and the composition of the stream you want to recycle is exactly the same with the original stream you want to connect it to if it is not the same believe me your stream or your process will not converge and you keep having that issue so go over this video again go it uh, go through go through it over and over again and um, try it out okay try it out make sure those parameters are the same now this has gone back to recalculate everything and um all right so we are good to go and that is just how to model your recycle operation Thank you for your time and uh, once again happy new year if you've not subscribed to my channel please do well to subscribe to the channel and um from time to time you keep getting more videos once you subscribe you'll be getting a um, notification once there's a new video all right there are many more videos to come to your screen via this channel thank you for always staying with me here thank you thank you thank you see you next time